Hello everyone, Josh here for Lofty Sites. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at URL redirects. And basically, I'm just going to show you how to do a URL redirect. And I'm assuming that you know why you want to do that. So we're not really going to go into the whys in this tutorial. As somebody said in some movie, you know when you know. So the first step is to log into your cPanel. And what you're going to want to do is scroll on down to the domain section and click on redirects. Now there are two types of redirects. There are permanent and temporary. And those will not be cached by browsers. So in other words, the web browsers out there that visit your site will not remember those. So again, that's good since these are just temporary. Now a permanent one is going to be cached or remembered by a web browser out there that visits your site. And also search engine crawlers will follow these redirects. So if, it's, if this is something that's gonna be permanent, choose permanent. If you plan to use this URL again in the future, then just make it a temporary one. So in this example, we'll just choose permanent. And from the drop down menu here, we'll choose our domain name and we'll go ahead and move our blog and we'll redirect it to weberg.com forward slash stories. So next, we have a number of options. We can only direct with the www. We can redirect with or without the www. Or do not redirect www. In this example, we'll keep it at redirect with or without. That way, anytime somebody goes to weberg.com forward slash blog, whether or not it has the www in front of it, it's automatically going to redirect it to this new URL weberg.com forward slash stories. So if there are links floating around out there, maybe in our Facebook page or our Twitter, when people click on those, they will be redirected to the new location. And finally, there's this wildcard redirect. And checking this is basically going to redirect all file names in the old URL to the new file names in the new URL. So for example, if you have some link floating around out there, that's weberg.com forward slash blog, forward slash my motorcycle trip. So assuming that you have the same file structure with all the same file names in your new URL, then it will redirect it to the correct page. So weberg.com forward slash blog forward slash worst morning ever is going to redirect to weberg.com forward slash stories forward slash worst morning ever and will take them to the correct resource. So if you've simply moved something that has all the same file names, then you'll want to click this wildcard redirect. All right, so again, we have weberg.com forward slash blog redirecting to weberg.com forward slash stories. And we'll go ahead and click add. And there you go, weberg.com forward slash blog is currently being redirected to weberg.com forward slash stories. So if we go back, we can see here is a list of all the current redirects. We can see the options, and if we want to remove that redirect, this is where we would do that. So I'll go ahead and remove now, and then I'll confirm remove redirect. And then it says that that has been successfully removed. So if I go back, I can verify that there are no redirects for this account. So that was URL redirects. If you guys have any questions, please reach out to us at support at loftysites.com. And I hope you guys all have a great day. Thanks.